Hey guys, what is going on? Barcode back again with some more Need for Speed. Today though, we're going to be looking at Payback and Rivals and 2015. And basically a little bit of a comparison, my thoughts on them and uh, what I think of the games. Uh, disclaimer, we didn't play any of the games on the lease. Uh, Rivals of 2015, we've only played the last couple of weeks. Um, payback, uh, we waited a couple of months to pick up. I think we picked up in, in December, so close enough to release. Uh, but yeah, so if you're enjoying the content on the channel and you enjoyed this video, make sure you're going to like, share and subscribe if you aren't already and get those notifications turned on with daily awesome action here on the channel. Uh, now though, let's start with Rivals. Uh, I, I enjoyed Rivals. Uh, I've not played too much of it. Uh, a little bit through, uh, I'll save a campaign. Uh, one of the biggest issues, no campaign, uh, which is a bit of an issue, but the game is fun. So we jump on, I had a few of you guys in stream uh, playing a few cop chases. It's, it's quite fun, you know, driving is quite good. Uh, I think the, as I can drift a car, uh, which I can in 2015. Not very well anyway, but yeah, uh, it's quite fun. I'll say there's not much to it, it's not really a campaign. Um, and it's a, bit, it's a bit like Burnout really, where you kind of just, you level up, and then you do the same stuff again. You level up, you do the same stuff again. Uh, you unlock cars as you go, obviously, but yeah, it gets a bit tedious, uh, but it's fun. It's what you want from the game. It's an arcade racer, I want to have fun. Uh, so Rivals, overall, good game. Could have been better, obviously, the campaign would have been amazing, uh, but would it have affected the game? Probably. Uh, Content-wise, you don't see much to it, uh, but a lot of cars, uh, a lot of stuff to choose from, just not much customization within the actual game. Uh, but it's a fun game, so you get, it gets half a thumbs up from Little Old Barcode. Uh, 2015, no, 2015, 2015. Uh, I started off with 2015, I'll say a couple of weeks ago. Uh, also, content-wise, there is so much content. It's, it's, it's a really good game. It's so much content, uh, so much to do. Uh, but to me, it's just so slow. Uh, with the cutscenes and the telephone calls, and it, it doesn't flow very well. It seems to flow really slowly, which I think really lets it down. I'll say content, content there's a lot. A lot of cars... Uh, a lot of races, a lot of missions, uh, but it just it flows really slowly for me. Um, so it, it kind of it affects the gameplay. I, I don't enjoy it as much as Rivals or Payback. Uh, as well, the tuning is way too many tuning options in 2015. Some people will love it, and that's you know whatever your cup of tea. If you like it, you like it. This is my personal thoughts. Uh, but to me, it feels more like a simulation game. If I want that many tuning options, I'll go and play a simulation. I'll go and play F1 or Project Cars or Gran Turismo. With so many tuning options, it feels too... It's too much. It's too much stress in my life. I just want to pick a car, upgrade it, a couple of other options, just to make it race well, to fit my style, and done. I don't want to have to tune that many different things. It stresses me out, but I just don't enjoy it. Because you have to go back, especially go back to the garage every time. You change it a little bit. Go for a race, no, it's not work. Back to the garage, change this, change that. No, it's way even worse now. Go back to the garage, change it back, change something else. It gets up so tedious. I say it adds to this the slowness of the game with, the, with its cutscenes and the telephone calls and the tuning. If the game goes really slow. Yes, there's a lot of content, and you know, GG for that. Uh, it just flows really slowly, way too many tune options. Um, and personally, I, I struggle to drift a lot. It's probably because I've not really done the tuning properly, uh, but I struggle to drift a lot. Um, on 2015 compared to Rivals and Payback. Uh, but for some people out there, I've heard a few of us say, you know, we're, we're, you know pro, I say pro players, like the people who take me seriously. Uh, you know, a lot of them do prefer 2015 drifting. Personally, I just don't like it. Maybe it's just my drifting style. It doesn't work for me. And if I'd played it on release, um, you know, I've been playing it for a couple of years, my drifting might be better on it. But to me, it's just really slow and the drivability is just awful. <laughs> and it's always raining. What's that about? You know what I mean? Uh, payback though, Payback, I, I do love Payback, there's a lot of things wrong with Payback and I'm going to be covering that in a separate video hopefully tomorrow. Uh, like I say, we're, we're away this weekend uh, as so we got a video today which is, should be Saturday, it should be Saturday today. Uh, so hopefully tomorrow, Sunday, you should have another video um, on Payback itself, uh, what I expect to see in the updates and what it needs because Payback is dying right now. Uh, but Payback itself, uh, like the campaign is really good. I loved the campaign in Payback. It kind of ended abruptly. Uh, which I'm assuming that will be coming. Uh, there'll be more story to right, It kind of ended really, kind of, okay, that's the end. Uh, the campaign itself, I really enjoy. Uh, with tuning options, I get it payback. Live tuning is great. You've got three options per build, and it can affect your racing so much. I love the tuning options. It's nice and easy. Uh, it's what an arcade racer to me should be. A few tuning options just to fit your driving style, and you're done. The actual upgrade process is a little bit iffy. Let's say, you know, spinning from the tokens, speed cards and it can get a bit tedious if you get having really bad luck trying to get a car perfect it can take a lot of work and a lot of tokens which are hard to come by 
Um, tokens in this game, unless you play the game a lot, they're not easy, or, or buy sh shipments, they're not easy to come by. You know, you got to play the game a lot. Uh, there is ways you can do it, which I'll cover that tomorrow as well. There is ways you can get tokens easily, but it costs money. So then money in the early game isn't too easy to come by. Um, in the early game of payback, you know, you got you got to use your money wisely. Uh, so yeah, there's a lot of issues with payback, but personally, the campaign is really good. The tune option is really good. Um, it needs more cars, uh, more customization of the cars. I know the people want more VAP slots and stuff like that, which hopefully it'll come, depending on how much work we put into the game. Uh, but yeah, payback, honestly, out of three, is one of my favourite. It's really good drivability, really good campaign, and it's nice and easy to take hold of the cars, get them tuned, get them racing. The other thing I don't like is you can't test for cars. Um, even if you buy it cheaply, you know, a car at 150 level is going to race differently to a car at 400 or 399. Um, so I think we should, we should include it. You should be able to test a car at max level, or at least close to it, and then buy the basic version and upgrade itself. Um, but yeah, uh, payback for me is really good. A lot of issues, I'll say I'll cover tomorrow. Uh, but yeah, it's really good. So Rivals, I'll say Rivals is really fun, just not much to it. Uh, 2015, I'll say a lot of content. You can spend a lot of hours in there. Uh, I'll say if you want to do tuning, you know, if that's for you, that's great. For me, as an arcade racer, I shouldn't have to worry about tuning the car that much. It just stresses me out. And yeah, I just don't like it. Uh, but yeah, that's all for me on those videos. I'll give a thoughts on the three games because I've played them all extremely recently. Uh, let me know down in the comments what you think. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Have I said something you don't like? Let me know. We'll have a discussion. Uh, see what your thoughts are. But I will be back on Monday uh, with the next live stream. Uh, hopefully, say hopefully get a video out tomorrow um, if I've got time to get it made uh, before I go away for the weekend. Uh, make sure you're liking, and sharing, and subscribing to get those notifications turned on for daily awesome content here on the channel. Um, as always, guys, you've been awesome. I've been barcode. I'm checking out.